Welcome back everyone to TV5 News at 9 and joining us this morning are two wonderful people from Hamilton Community Health Network. We have Tim McCarran, Lead Outreach and Enrollment Coordinator and Kim Warden, Director of Quality Improvement. Thank you both so much for being here. How are you? Great for having us. Yes, of course. You guys are welcome on any time. Thank you for calling in. So today we are talking about National Health Center Week and COVID vaccines. So first, Tim, I'm going to talk to you. Can you tell us a little bit about what National Health Center Week is? Yeah, absolutely. So, um, you know, it's not widely known, but it's just it's an annual celebration. And the goal is to raise awareness about the mission and accomplishments of uh, America's health centers. Um, so, for instance, Hamilton uh, Community Health Network uh, is a nonprofit, federally qualified health center, and so um, we fit into that that category. Okay. And uh, basically, for the last five decades, community health centers have um, cared for everyone, regardless of their insurance status or ability to pay. Um, and uh, as unemployment rises uh, and more Americans lose their employee-sponsored health care, community health centers will kind of be the key to keep uh, keeping people healthy. Yeah, that's good to know. And so, Tim, throughout the week, what are some of the efforts organizations really focus on? Um, the main focuses are um, they have a lot to do with homelessness and helping those uh, who have lost their jobs and, and health care coverage. Um, so health care centers are locally run but part of a nation, national uh, network serving almost 30 million people nationwide. Mm -hmm. um, they save American taxpayers uh, on average about $24 billion a year in health care costs uh, by preventing um, by preventing and managing chronic diseases. So um, we're not necessarily an ordinary medical clinic. Mm -hmm. um, uh, we're kind of also problem solvers who sort of reach beyond the exam room uh, to care for the whole person by providing access to those necessities like uh, food and housing resources. All right, that's great. Now, uh, Kim, we will get to you in just one second. But Tim, lastly, what are some ways that Hamilton will be serving the community during that week? Um, well, we're still very focused on providing uh, the COVID vaccine um, to the community, making it as accessible as possible to anyone to anyone mm -hmm. uh, that wants to join the efforts in overcoming this pandemic. Um, since the start of the COVID-19 pandemic, um, community health centers have taken uh, kind of been the key to uh, ensuring everyone can have access to affordable kind of quality health care during and beyond this pandemic. Yeah. Uh, so we also will be providing things like blood pressures and assisting people with attaining health insurance and um, talking to them about our homeless program. But definitely a, a big focus will be the, the vaccines. All right, perfect. That's a great segue to Kim. Uh, so millions, Kim, have received vaccination for COVID-19, but there are so many factors still looming, such as, you know, this new Delta variant and challenges with vaccine manufacturers. So can you talk to us about the state of COVID-19 vaccines as it pertains to these different threats? Yeah, there's so many factors from access to the vaccine to safety, and the Hamilton providers are really focusing on, uh, the, you know, the CDC, the Advisory Committee on Ac uh, Immunization Practices. They meet constantly and review all the information coming in on these vaccines, uh, and they're recommending vaccination to prevent the hospitalizations and possible fatal complications of the COVID vaccine, including the new variants. You know, the CDC and the ACIP review all the benefits and the risks surrounding these vaccines or any vaccine for that matter. And these organizations recommend vaccines based on thorough evaluation of all the data coming in. And according to the ACIP, the benefits of the vaccines are very clear. All vaccines available right now prevent serious disease, hospitalization, and possible death. Um, the data also suggests that all three uh, available vaccines um, protect against COVID and the circulating variants, including the new Delta variant that's going around Michigan right now. Also, vaccination is a critical tool right now for all the variants circulating and the spread of the virus. 
So, um, you know, that's going to be the Hamilton focus is getting people vaccinated. All right, that sounds good. Now, Kim, some would say that maybe precautions have laxed over COVID-19. Now, all things considered in the world right now, what should our attitude be like towards COVID-19 and the vaccine? Making vaccination a priority. Um, if you haven't made it a priority by now, you should definitely think about, be, about making it a private priority. Mm -hmm. Talk to your health care workers and your health care providers and ask them, what is the concern you're having? And can they answer those concerns about you not getting the vaccine or getting the vaccine? Yeah. Your health care provider you trust for many various conditions, trust their opinion on a vaccination. And then we need to continue to promote throughout our communities vaccination. And now is not the time to be laxed. And in certain uh, situations, such as indoor you know, venues and um, high transmission areas, yeah. you really want to make sure that you're following all the guidelines, the masking, the, uh, the you know, physical and social distancing. Now's not the time to lax. We're getting a little bit of control on this, but as we see numbers going up, we can't be laxed. And especially if you're immunocompromised or can't get a vaccine, like mm. children, um, make sure you're following the protocols. We know it works and we just need to follow it. All right, Kim, great to hear that. Now, Kim, Tim, is there anything else that you would like to add before we go? Talk to your healthcare providers and, you know, we're available. We're here and, and we have access for you. So, you know, give us a call. Yeah. Tim, anything from you? Uh, just come out and see us. Um, Friday, we'll be doing our family fun day from 11 to 3 at our main clinic on North Saginaw. So we hope to see you there and uh, we can definitely answer some questions there. Absolutely. Glad to have you as a resource in our community. Thank you both for joining us. Yep. Thank you for having us. Of course. Now, for those at home, you can find more information by going to the hot link section of WNEM.com.